Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend. Unless we left off, Kazuaki seemed to be suggesting something about where to go from here, but how to solve this issue with Ryota. It's very strong, but lacks control right now, right? Maybe we should ask Hugure. What? Him? He's nuts! <laughs> Black Bean Donna! There he goes again, spouting nonsense! Wait! Kawara! Stop! Ah! Oh dear. There goes Shiragane. The demon red eye speaks! Seal the disaster with the power of the Chosen One! Are we about to do this again? He's reacting. How is that Feuilleuson able to affect him? What is he doing? Hypnotizing him. According to the documents back there, Higure has the ability to pull others into his own fantasies and break down their mental restraints. I was talking to the doctor about it earlier, too. I think it's real. Mental restraints? And like, how a despot's man can be stronger than usual? The demon red eye heralds the awakening! By the power of the bloodstained hand, I seal the funeral song! By the way, that was the uh, name that he was giving uh, Ryota. Weaver of the funeral song. Koo! Okasan attack! Okasan cannot possibly lose in a fight with Ryota! There we go. Perfect. We're supposed to convince Ryota to stop while ourselves being drawn into some bizarre fantasy? This is madness! Don't think about the consequences, Shirogane. Just go along with it. Prepare yourselves! We fight brethren bound with the Red Lotus Fetters! We are, aren't we? Ryota, Textor's Melodia Funes appears. Angel's turn! Hmm... Pure wings awaken! Textora Melodius Funus, now is the time to break Wallenstein's Wallenstein spell! Hear the call of the Red Lotus! Hey, I like the music. Sans turn! Coo? Or Coo Coo! You know what, I like the second one. Coo! A valiant Ryota is not a good Ryota! Come to your senses! Kazuaki's turn! Really? Really, what's he gonna do? Fall asleep on him? Um, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Listen to us. We're all trying our best for you, Kawara. Come back to us! Sakuya's turn! <laughs> oh, boy. Pull yourself together. That sounds more like Sakuya. Do you not care? Do you plan to destroy all we've gained? Stop, Kawara! This is not the path you must travel! Okay. Hmm, turn? Wait, the new challenger? Jeez, Ryota. You're causing every birdie trouble. I don't want to see you like this either. The only Berserker class character this story needs. Wake up already, Ryota. Ryota was defeated! Wait. Uh. Kawara, pull yourself together. Do you want this? No, I don't. Cool, cool! Ryota is a vegetarian and shouldn't exert himself. I don't want to make anyone sad. The remitter reactivated. Fascinating. It should have been possible for some hours yet. 
Disease is half in the mind, after all. Outlook is surprisingly important. I suppose this means my data was insufficient. This is the end, Dark Sorcerer Wallenstein! Be judged by the Crimson Breast! Wait, Angel. It's not just his fault. Why do you protect him? He is the one who did this to you! Tell me, Doctor. Why did you go so far to grant my wish? Why did I grant your wish? My reason is nothing of note. It is not worth telling. It was merely an experiment that has now come to an end. You must have had a reason. You aren't the sort to go around talking to children without some purpose. I want to know the answer to everything. The answer is nowhere near as glamorous as you are expecting, I assure you. Oh, I'll keep the music going. I like that music. Even if it does remind me of sadness. Hey, good morning, Isa! Sorry to spring this on you, but could you take a look at these? What is it, sir? You seem excited. It's amazing! The healers we got earlier! Healers? Ah, the Hila cells from last month. Hila cells from last month. Yeah, them! From the unusually old human. Aiding science even after death. Can't we at least call the samples by their proper name? <laughs> You've always been serious like that, Isa. These samples are like sweet lovebirds. Touch them with kindness and they respond beautifully. And just how many lovebirds do you have again? Perhaps you should just call them pet birds instead. Uh, maybe you're right. <laughs> anyway, look at this. We've been looking into cancer cell immortality. This... Indeed, these results are amazing. You're quite lucky with these things. It's all about love. Or intuition. That too. Kawara Ryuji. Ryuji? He is quite possibly the most gifted researcher alive. He has abilities and intuition that not even he can explain. Hey, good morning, Isa! Nice weather, huh? Makes me want to do something outside. By the way, Isa, we've heard that once before. Yuya called Iwamine that when he was calling him out. It's already evening. I believe one normally switches to good evening round now. It's good morning whenever I get up, Isa! Get distracted by things like common sense and you'll miss the greatest discoveries of your life! Sophistry? Yeah. Hey, good morning, Isa! Whoopsie, we're low on cash. Here, was this the one? I didn't ask you to pick it up for me. Here, take it. It's not like we're running out. You sound like a pushy salesman. Your right wing is injured, right? If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've been doing fine so far. Hey, good morning, Isa! Hey, can I say something? What is it, sir? I am somewhat busy. You're always busy! If I waited for you to take a break, I'd die of old age before I got to say. Talking like this gets us nowhere. Guess what? I had a kid! Hmm. I see. Congratulations. F what Don't you have anything else to say? Not particularly. Reproduction is natural for all living creatures. Of course, were I to become a father, I would feel bad for the child, given my habit of locking myself away in the laboratory. The only bird who I ever recognized. The only one 
I ever recognized as worthy of my respect. Hey, good morning, Isa. I brought you something cool. Hmm, what is it? A fossil! Look at it! It's huge! You act like an excited child. Hey, I like geology, too. Uh, it tempts me with souse breach. Spouse breach. Really? I will carry on your research while you are out, then. Go on. Dang, you're cold. Hey, listen, want to come with me on a business trip sometime? Field observation is fun! My next one's at the start of the month. While well, I am interested in your work, sir, I'm partway through a fascinating process at the moment. Perhaps another time. Yeah? I'll invite you next time, then. I bet traveling with you would be a blast! Field observation is not exactly sightseeing. I will make sure to open time in my schedule, though. Hmm. His last moments were dreadfully anticlimactic. He fell ill with the disease endemic to the island. By the time we returned home, he was so emaciated, one could barely recognize him. He had watched as many other birds succumbed to the disease, so I was sure. Sure that he would die in, his, in this examination room, surrounded by his family. Isa, I always knew this was a possibility. Yes, sir. I don't regret the way I did things. No, sir. But I just remembered. I do have one regret. Yes, sir? I've never done anything resembling uh, anything a father's supposed to do. I'd promised to take time off for the first time in years. I want you to do me a favor, Isa. If you ever run into my son, can you do something for him in my stead? rather vague request. He's too nice. He'd never ask for something, even if he wanted it. I suspect he inherited that trait from his father. Ah, I suspect he inherited that trait from his father. <laughs> anyway, if you ever happen to meet him, you don't have to go out of your way to find him or anything. Hmm. Very well. I shall remember. What is his name? Ryota. It's Kawara... Ryota. You vanished from my life before I ever told you my feelings. Eh? And I've chased your shadow since then. Is this what they mean by quitting while you're ahead? Or was it just cowardice? No matter how I study life, its past, its future, I will never be able to surpass you. And that was my only goal. Kawara Ryota, the son of Dr. Kawara, carrying half his genetic material and otherwise unrelated. But this boy, he may be the only way for me to catch your shadow now. Well, that was abrupt down to minutes before 10 o'clock when all hell breaks loose. When your father died, my world was... altered. One might say that his influence over me grew after death, both for good and for ill. Kuara Ryuji. All I can recall of him now is his voice and the color of his wings. He rarely returned home, always leaving Mother and me alone. You did this to carry out my father's will? You misunderstand. This was not just a parting kindness between colleagues. I doubt that there is anyone in this world with a stronger sense of duty than mine. This was his final challenge to me. And you see the results. But... Your refusal is hardly rational. I was trying only to grant your wish, and had you but accepted, it would be so. Are you dissatisfied with something? A world without strife, where no one would have a loved one stolen from them. That is the world I wish for! I never asked for a world where the human race is killed! A pity you did not say so eight years ago. 
Really? Because you're the one who made the logical jump to, to kill all humans. Does not mean that he should have had to explicitly state when he was like, what, eight years old? To tell you, hey, don't kill all humans. My best friend is a human standing right next to- Really? What absurd contract was this? There is no power in prayer. I should never have met you. Doctor, my wish ends today. Father is no longer in this world. There's no reason for you to chase after his final will anymore. <laughs> Does this mean you are sympathizing with me? Oh, how I have fallen. I can feel his pity and gaze even now. Very well. The contract ends today. And I must admit defeat. It is not over yet. We must open the gate of Tartarus in the depths of the abyss. We only have about ten minutes until the humans come in from above. I see you are still alive, gentlemen. Hey! Mr. Leon! I bring with me all those who had taken refuge in the gym. Whoa, it's like something out of a science fiction movie! I bet it was built by MIBs. Men in Black. For those of you who may not even remember that reference. Rad! Well, I guess no birdies panicking anyway. Mr. Shiragane, I will recover Sakazaki's body before I leave. Have no fear. I am grateful to you. The exit is no doubt activated by the vital signals of the researchers who work here. Correct. Do not fear. I shall lead you to it. Coo! Coo! The doctor is even creepier when he's being cooperative. Yeah, he's... I do not base my actions on foolish pride or emotion. I carried out an experiment, and I have now obtained the results. I have nothing more to gain or lose here. Is that everyone? Thank God. Shall we go, Kawaya? Can you stand? Uh, yeah. But if you leave this place, though, you're still infected with the virus. But... We need to bring Tosaka with us. I think everyone else has gone outside. Doctor, I will- I shall not forget what has taken place here. Once we are outside, I shall see that you face judgment. Your words are haughty and immature, as always. Do as you please, if you can. I will indeed. Remember my face, villain! Well, who knows? I find you uninteresting, so I may well forget. I must think carefully about my plans once I am outside. I still have much research to... What? Is that a gunshot? <laughs> doctor A gunshot echoes through the room. The doctor collapses. Madness! There should still be time before the humans What? Mr Nanaki? A pistol is in his hand. Wing. Probably. Not hand. He wobbles over to the doctor, with the same unsteady, careless gait as always. And... D did he just fire again? Um, this is the end of your research. Nanaki, what? Stop! The doctor should have a fair trial once we... A fair trial. Hmm. What do you think, doctor? Ah, uh, well, 
I am impressed at your acuity in attacking my uninjured left side. But of course. Thank you. Tell me, Dr. Iwa. No. Isa. I need to bring him back with me. That's why I've done all this. Tell me. Where is Nagaki? Nanaki points his gun at the immobilized doctor. He looks quite prepared to shoot the partridge dead at any moment. Oh, is that it? <laughs> I had quite forgotten. Mr. Fujishiro's brother. He was a quail. What? Wait. What? Oh my god. Really? We're gonna have to find out more about this on the next installment of Let's Play Hatoful Boyfriend. Were you expecting this? I mean, I kind of was because I played through this before, but anyway, it's kind of shocking. Ahem. <clears throat> anyway, I will see you next time. Hope to see you then.